so there's a significant chance now that with enough pressure, the Green Party will do the right thing and nominate Governor Jesse Ventura. Uh, popular opinion has been shifting as uh, many in the party now are pushing to contest the results of the primary due to issues with the process. Uh, and to, to put that into context, uh, complaints have been filed within the party as well as with the Federal Elections Commission um, that are in review. And I won't get into all the details because there's many, but the best example that I have is that there have been states that have chose to only put Howie Hawkins on their primary ballot. And even then he almost lost to none of the above. So there's lots of pressure within the party for a different nominee. And I think the people are hungry for a third party to be viable at this point for the left wing here in the country. Well, we had Howie Hawkins on the show. He didn't cut much of a dash. Uh, and certainly nothing like the dash that would be cut by Governor Jesse Ventura, uh, who is extremely well known in the country, uh, both uh, from his past as a, as a military uh, figure, as a former Navy SEAL, as a, a veteran of, of the Vietnam War, the one that Donald Trump dodged. Uh, he is, of course, the... Uh, governor of Minnesota who defeated the Republicans and the Democrats in uh, a tightly fought three-party race uh, for governor of the state. He was also the mayor uh, of Minneapolis, Ditto, when he defeated both uh, of these parties. Uh, he's a significant figure, uh, a charismatic figure. And if the Green Party put him up as their candidate, I'll tell you something. He's in with a shout of winning, uh, because you mentioned none of the above. Oh, absolutely. If there was a none of the above option uh, available between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, none of the above would win. 